What's going on guys, I am Journey, and I'm here for a video review, this time on Resident Evil. This game came out a long time ago, and it's seen many versions and iterations since then. From the original PlayStation, to the GameCube, to the PS5 edition, which is now has the original, just a director's cut version. So, ultimately, it's been a ride, depending on the type of person you are and what you're really interested in. And if you've been on the PC side of things, you haven't had much luck because all you had was the remake of the original. So outside of that, it was just flat out through emulation. Heck, even the Vita and the PSP have versions that you can play. Uh, backwards compatible with PS1, etc. So when GOG decided to, however they managed to put this out, it's been God sent for individuals who really adore the original. But this game features is kind of updated graphics a little bit to meet the modern standard but not necessarily like a full-blown remake it's the original as pure as you could possibly get it nothing to my knowledge has been censored or anything else so this is a really good experience and you should most definitely want to pick it up they actually have a bundle going on where you can pick up the original resident evil or resident evil 2 resident evil 3 all for 24.99 and these games separately retail for $9.99. So you're going to save yourself about like 5 bucks. This is good. Resident Evil 2 and 3 are not out yet. They'll come out a little bit later. But more specifically about the game now. The game itself. Uh, for people who don't know. You're Chris Redfield and Jill Valentine. And the other characters cast around that would be Barry, Rebecca, Wesker. They end up at this mansion. Investigating as soon as they get there things go haywire. And a lot of people end up getting separated and your job is to figure out what's going on at the mansion and evacuate. So that's ultimately what it comes down to. There's a lot of puzzles. Uh, back when this game came out, it was very, very scary and intimidating for a lot of people. But the one of the things that's, that's to me the standout is its voice acting. It's, it's gold. It is gold. And back then, I mean, you know, you had to work what you had to work with, but they did such an amazing job. And it looked like a lot of people had a lot of fun doing it. So it's nice to see this back, change of resolution, uh, and different other filtering options. And it helps it helps the game look a little bit better. Now, my only issue as far as like when you first start the game, you see that Catcom screen go across, like you'll see the FPS and that will drop down to somewhere like 15 to 10. But that's fine. But when you're inside the game itself, 30 FPS is very smooth. The game is smooth. And one thing about this one, as separate from the PlayStation versions is, you remember those animations? Some people won't remember. When you go through a door and you had to watch that animation, you can skip it. Just press that button, you can skip it. Trust me, it's a blessing. The other thing to take note of is that you can incorporate the game into, let's say you put in a Steam as a non-Steam game. But my recommendation would be to disable Steam input. The reason being is because when you start the game, for at least for me on my end, I was unable to use the D-pad. So... It became weird. I do like to switch between analog and D-pad, but having Steam input in just does not work that way. So just disable it. You can still bring it into Steam, but it's a lot easier to exit out from Steam than it is just by loading the game through GOG. So that can help you out along the way. This experience has been great, and I'm very excited about Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3. I do prefer those over the remakes that they have. Once again, it just comes down to you, your own personal purpose and what you desire. Now, will this come to other platforms? I have no idea. I hope it does. Uh, there's no reason why it's not available on Xbox. There's no reason why it's not available on a, on a Switch. You should be able to get these classics. I don't know uh, what's the situation is going to be coming over to Steam. I have no idea. Hopefully it does. But just keep on the lookout and just kind of keep Google searching. If there's any... New developments, I wouldn't mind coming through and, and putting up a short or something like that so that way everybody can can know. But for right now, at this moment of time, GOG is a really wonderful place to go to. The experience is serious again. Um, one, two, three. It's been fun and it's been a blast. Make sure you guys take care of yourselves and take care of each other. And I hope to catch you in the next one. Take care, everybody.